Here's another tutorial about how to wind your bobbin with thread. I am using a Brother LX27NT sewing machine. These steps can also be found in its operation manual or you can download it online too. These steps may also be similar to most sewing machines out there so you can use this video as a guide as well. Winding your bobbin with thread is one of the first steps before you can start sewing. Hopefully, this video will help those who are just starting or those who feel intimidated by the process. Let's start! Pull up the spool pin to its full upright position. It should lock in its place. With your right hand, hold the spool of thread and hold the end of the thread with your left hand. Notice the direction of the thread is in a clockwise direction. Actually, I tried to position it in counterclockwise direction too, but I didn't notice any difference in the output. Place the spool of thread on the spool pin and guide the end of the thread towards the thread guide. Pass the thread through the gap and pull it towards you so it gets caught by that small springing hook. Wrap the thread around the pre-tensioned disc, making a half-infinity sign. Pull the thread completely. The position of the thread should be the same as the image encircled. Here's a closer look at how it's done. Pass the thread along the gap in the thread guide and pull it towards you so that the small springing hook can catch it. Wrap the thread around the pretension disc and pull the thread completely. You can always refer to this image on the sewing machine for reference if you're not feeling confident. Insert the end of the thread through your bobbin. Insert it from the inside and out through the top of the bobbin through that small hole there. You'll need some focus on this step. Be careful not to let go of the thread or else you'll have to reinsert it again. We are now ready to place the bobbin on the bobbin winder shaft. This is the bobbin winder shaft and the metal on top of it is the shaft spring. Right now, the bobbin winder shaft is in the left edge. Push the bobbin down. The bobbin feels secure if I twist the shaft, but the shaft itself moves freely. Push the bobbin winder shaft to the right. This should lock the shaft in place so it doesn't move freely when I twist it. The next step is a step that I always forget to do since I feel the bobbin is already very secure. Once the bobbin winder shaft is pushed to the right, twist the bobbin in a clockwise direction until the spring of the shaft is locked in place at the notch of the bobbin. This should hold your bobbin securely in place. If you forget to do this, since the bobbin is not locked in place, it can easily slide off a few millimeters from its correct position. This will cause the thread to be wound on the bobbin winder shaft instead of the bobbin itself. This has happened to me quite a few times, so remember to do this step when winding your bobbin. Once that is done, you can start winding the thread by pressing the foot controller. Make sure you hold a few centimeters of thread at the top of the bobbin. Wind the thread a few times and stop. Cut the excess thread near to the bobbin hole and continue winding the bobbin until it's full. This should not take long. Keep pressing the foot controller until the bobbin is full. Don't worry about overwinding the bobbin. The bobbin will stop on its own when it's full of thread. The bobbin is almost full now. When it's full, even if you keep pressing the foot controller, the bobbin will automatically stop from winding. Here's our fully wound bobbin. Cut the thread and place it in the bobbin case. 
If you like to see how to place it correctly, check out my video, How to Place Your Bobbin, for more tips. That ends this tutorial. If you have any questions, suggestions, or video requests, please let me know in the comment section. As I am just a beginner in sewing, I'd like to hear and learn from you too. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you think it helped you. Click on the subscribe button for more sewing video tutorials. Thanks for watching! See you in the next video!